If you think your password is secure enough to keep your Instagram account from getting hacked, mm, I'm gonna tell you exactly why that's not true. And I'm gonna show you how to fix it. On average, around 1 million Instagram accounts get hacked every single day. From prominent celebrities like Selena Gomez, Taylor Swift, Ariana Grande, and even the Queen Bee herself, to the average Joe, like you and I. So today, I will share with you six simple steps that you can take to secure your Instagram account today. Let's get into it. I'm gonna open up my personal Instagram account. Keep in mind, this is an iPhone, so the settings might vary slightly between iPhone and Android, but I've checked and all these settings are present on both phones. You might just have to find the button a little bit in a different spot. First up, we're going to start with the most important, but the easy peasy two-factor authentication. Now we're gonna click on the hamburger sign at the top and then we're gonna go to settings and privacy. Here, Instagram has changed things up a little bit. So you wanna go to the account center from here then down to password and security and then you'll see the option for two-factor authentication here now when you open up two-factor authentication if you have your facebook and instagram or whichever accounts you have will be listed here in your account center so what you want to do is click on the account that you want to enable it for you should enable it for all and then you have multiple two-factor authentication settings here and what's important is that firstly use the authenticator app that is the recommended and more secure option than the text messaging. It just has built-in and more enhanced security, generates a one-time code every time. I can make a whole video about that, but using the Authenticator app is the better option instead of a text message. For this purpose, you really don't have to pay for any apps. You can just go and download um, the Google Authenticator app from the App Store and you use the Authenticator app with this authentication on Instagram. But that is the first and almost one of the most important. If you don't do anything else today, just go and take that step and enable the two-factor authentication. Next up is to actually review your logged in devices and your trusted devices. Now, this is really important because if someone has logged into your Instagram account from a different device or a location where you haven't been or you, you've never logged in from that location, then this is a prime spot to identify that and boot people off of your account or reset your password. So on the same two-factor authentication setting page in Instagram where we are, I'm going to firstly look at the trusted devices and then here you'll have a list of the devices that you use. Make sure there's nothing funny there. If there's a funny device or location, oh, that screams problem. Next, then we're gonna go back and we're actually gonna go to the password and security page again and we're gonna check where it says security checks. Here you can see basically where you have logged in from and here you can see all of the locations all of the devices and basically all of your active sessions into your account you can simply select these active sessions and then log them out if you don't recognize them if you don't recognize anything reset your password step three is to review the login alerts and emails now login alerts we are going to go back to the password and security page and still on the same password and security page you will see the login alerts and recent emails. Now, login alerts is a really easy and important setting to turn on because that is how Instagram will actually notify you if anyone new from any new device has logged into your account. It will notify you in the app or via email. The email component too is also you can review recent emails. Now, this is such a critical one because most of the time people are getting scammed and their Instagram accounts hacked because they think that Instagram has sent them an email when it was actually a scammer that sent them an email. This is called phishing and so many people are tricked into this. So what you can actually do is instead of reviewing the email in your mailbox or clicking on any of the links you have in your mailbox, you can actually go to recent emails on the password and security page. You can go in there and you can basically check if Instagram has recently sent you an email. Number four, we have use strong 
passwords. Now, I do feel like this is common knowledge, but I'm gonna say it anyway. You need to make sure that you use a strong password for your Instagram account, for all of your accounts, and especially a unique password, because if you have your data compromised or stolen as part of a data breach, then it's likely that your password and your email address has been stolen. And if you're using that same password everywhere, then essentially, everything you have can get hacked. So what you wanna do is change your password, make it unique and make sure that it's kind of a good password. So you can change your password in the password and security page on Instagram store. You can go to change passwords and then there you can put in your, your current password and change it to a new password. Step five is to beware of any fake DMs. Now, DMs are the prime place for scammers to trick their victims into clicking on various links and to follow their page and scam them out of some money to buy their products and they never receive anything and now they have your banking details, your personal information, everything. So the rule of thumb here is to never actually click on any link that you find in the DM. And if you do get a message that's seemingly legitimate and there is a link there and you must really click this link to see what it is, then you can simply copy the link and go into your browser and go to virustotal.com. And in virustotal, you can simply do a URL search and you can check whether that link that the person has sent you is actually a safe link to access. Here you can see on this particular link, two of the vendors have actually flagged this as malicious. And then finally, step six is to be aware of the privacy and privacy settings on your Instagram account. You can actually be very clear on how you share and who you choose to share with. Even if you're a public account, you can still put in place a certain privacy restrictions that can really go a long way to make your life much easier on Instagram. How are we gonna do this? We're gonna go back to the Instagram page. We we'll go to the hamburger sign again, and we're gonna choose settings and privacy. And then here, I'm actually going to look at the privacy settings. So the, the section, if you scroll down, who can see your content? And you can see there the account privacy, and then you can see that you have the option to block any accounts. If you deem it's a scammer account or it's someone that you don't wanna share your content with, you can block them there. You can hide or restrict your story or your life from people who you don't want uh, them to have access to it. Further to that, you can also add restricted accounts. So here it's really that you're not blocking the person off of your page, but someone keeps leaving funny or weird comments. I don't know, interesting people out there, but you can actually restrict them and then nobody else can see their comments. Then the final one I will show you is the hidden words. So if you go into the hidden words, you can actually see and hide certain comments with certain words in and you can manage a custom words and phrases list here that can really go a long way in keeping, firstly, your sanity and the kind of organization that you want to have on your page and the vibe that you are are going for. All right, friends, and that is exactly how you can secure your Instagram account today and keep those hackers at bay. If you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel for more cybersecurity content. Catch you next time. Bye.